Hey everyone, Space435. I'm here with um, another, or the first the first tutorial in the Dart series that I decided to start. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make that website that you guys saw where when you click on a, or you, when you click on the tab, it'll uh, reload the content without having to actually reload the page. Um, so to get started, you'll want to get Dart if you don't have it already. So um, you want to go to dartlang.org, and then on the left, go under Tools, and then go to Dart Editor. Um, and then from here, just pick which uh, what system you're on, and then download your version. Um, I already downloaded mine for the uh, s to make it quicker. I mean, obviously. But um, once you're done that, open it up, and then just open up Dart Editor.exe. Um, now, when you open it, you're going to come to a page like this. Um, you can check out the different um, the different uh, projects. I'm actually going to click on the slider one because we're going to actually use that just to make things quicker in the future. Um, but after that you want to go to, uh, or I'm just going to show you what version I'm on, just to make sure. I'm on 8.9.4.2. Um, in the future this might be a different build or version, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it might change, or the coding might change in the future. Um, but for now, I'm just going to, what you want to do is you're going to go to File, New Application, and then you're going to create uh, whatever you, or you're going to call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it YouTube Website. Um, then click OK. So now when you're here, um, it just generates four files for you. Um, the Dart.js, which you're not really going to touch at all because that's the Dart uh, pro programming language. Um, the CSS file of the HTML file. And then the Dart uh, file. Um, so after that, I'm just going to run it really quick. Uh, it should print out Welcome to Dart. Um, right there. Uh, so when I'm, I'm just going to explain what happens. I mean, just like Java, um, they have a main method, which is void main, and whatever is in here gets called. Um, so what this is doing, it's, it's calling the uh, method show, me show message uh, with a param parameter of a string. Um, in this case, it's welcome to Dart. Um, after that, it's getting the text element of by the ID of text. So if you look at the HTML file, and you go to right here, it says text. So if we change that to like uh, YouTube, and you changed this to YouTube, it's still going to print it out. Um, Welcome to Dart. Still prints it out. Um, I'm just actually just shrink that. Um, also, a cool thing about Dart is when you have the webs or when you have the like uh, internet open, uh, and you click Run, it just automatically re-updates it for you. So if we want to do like two, and we ran it, it's just gonna oh whoops, I actually help exit out of it. Uh, if we take away the two now, and we click on Run, it's just gonna automatically update it for you. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, kind of saved you time. But anyways, we're gonna get rid of this. Uh, we're gonna start. At, we're gonna start um, doing the slider, um, which is why I have this open to make it easier for us. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to first we're gonna make. Actually, go to the slider example. Uh, if you don't have that open, you should be able to open it by going to uh, open folder. Then go to wherever your Dart uh, folder is on your desktop or whatever. Go to samples, just right here and then just click on slider. Um, and then click OK and it should load up. But um, after that I'm just going to copy in a few things. First you want to copy in uh, this line right here. Um, now I'm just going to paste it above it. I'll explain what all this does in a second. Um, actually I'll just explain it now. Um, this one is kind of explanatory. It's the items that will show in the menu um, that like shows up when you run the website. I'm going to have three in this case, home, about, and contact. Um, and then next thing you want to uh, copy and paste in is this line. Um, they can either type that in or copy and paste it, doesn't matter. Um, yes, it's giving errors, I'll explain that in a second. Um, so what this is doing is it's creating a new variable called slider menu and we're sending it to the object of the slider menu which is a class which we haven't imported yet. Um, but uh, menu items is the is the uh, different tabs you want to, that you want to show which is in this case is home about and contact. And uh, the next uh, parameter is what's going to happen when the tab is selected. Um, in this case, it's going to run a function which we have not declared yet, so let's do that now. Type in void display selection string message, or it can be message, text, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, but after that, we're going to do query. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll come to that later, I'll explain that later. Um, but that's done. Uh, now, we're going to fix this error right here. Now, what we have to do is we have to do kind of some copy and pasting. So what you want to do is you want to go to your Dart folder, 
go to samples, go to the slider, and oh wait, I'm sorry, don't go to slider, go to lib and just copy this folder right here. So it has all the stuff in it. Just copy that and now go to your C drive, go to users, go to whatever your name is, in this case it's owner with a T because the guy that set this up put it wrong. Um, type in too quick. And then when you go into that, go to the Dart folder, and inside of there should be all your projects. Um, I have a few more because uh, uh, I should have a few more because um, I deleted them from the pro uh, from the side of the projects. Um, but go to your project, go to YouTube website in this case, and then uh, just paste it right in there. And now what we want to do is we want to import that folder. So go back to this, uh, go to import UI lib slash I'm going to look off of this because it's a little bit long uh, view slash uh, view dot dart let me just make sure I got that right um, I'm checking this example yep that's right alright now um, let's see what's oh forgot the semicolon alright now we didn't get any errors because it's all correct um, what is wrong with this Refresh it just to see what's wrong. I don't know what the problem is. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. But um, once we um, one second, I'm just going to. Oh wait, we don't need that. All right, at the end, you want to put this. Um, where is it? Slider menu that enter document. That's just um, making it show up on the actual page. Um, now, what you want to do after that is. Um, one more thing is we have to add it to the nodes of the um, of the div um, of the div, div tag which we haven't made yet, which I'm actually going to make right now. So go to you, YouTube website um, that HTML and then go to uh, I'm going to take out this right here and we're going to do div id equals menu slash div. And now we also want to import a new style sheet. Um, the style sheet that we're going to going to be importing is the view style sheet. So it's going to be in the resources, so I'm just going to copy this right here. Um, let me change this to backslash view.css. So now this is importing the view.css file, and this is what will make our uh, menu look like how it should. Um, so let's just try running this. Cross your fingers, it works. Um, there we go. So now you have this. When you click it, um, it will switch between the tabs. Um, I'm going to set the arrow keys. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, I'm just going to leave that out for now. I really don't want to have to set that up. Um, actually, all right, I'll set it up just, just for uh, the sake of you guys wanting to see how keys are pressed and whoops, how keys are pressed and stuff like that. All right, now go to YouTube website. Go to um, document. Actually, you know, just copy this and I'll explain it because it's the same exact thing. I just want to make this tutorial quick and not like 20 minutes long so you guys don't have to go through this. Alright, now, um, I'm getting there. Alright, so now it's working. So now when, um, alright, now let me, let me explain what's going on. So we're taking the document, which is like the web page, and we're doing on dot key down. So when a key is pressed, we're going to add a keyboard event to that key press. And then we put a, we put a, um, an open brace because we want to uh, we want to define what's going to happen when a key is pressed. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a switch statement and we're doing the event dot key or key identifier, which is the uh, integer value of the key that's pressed. So um, luckily, uh, Dart comes with a uh, class, a static class, that lets you test um, the uh, the int values. So if it's equal to uh, the left, so key name dot left, then we're going to do slider menu dot select previous. So it's going to go left one. And if it's right, it's going to go to the right one. Um, I mean, it's kind of explanatory. Uh, if you want to do like case key name dot, and then for example, froze, let's go dot um, w. Why is it not loading? All right. Well, I'm just going to skip that for now. I don't. Oh, that's why. One second. It was giving me. Uh, All right, so if we go to key, sorry, and I have all these options right here. So the 
different keys you want to do. You can go to left, right, up, down, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Um, anyways, put that right there. Alright, so that's just the left and key, left and right thing. There you go. Um, I'm actually going to pause this for a second. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I had to do something. But um, after that, we're going to start working on um, making this... Oh, by the way, if you press the left or right, blah, 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 it's going to work for you. But um, right now, we're going to start working on it showing different uh, content and stuff like that. Um, so right now, uh, we're going to go to the HTML file, and we are going to <coughs> add in a new... Um, a new, a new div tag in the content one. Why not? Um, we're gonna name this like home. We're gonna make three. We're gonna make about. And we're gonna make content or er, contact. Sorry, I'm not thinking straight. Um, okay, so now uh, we're gonna add different things. This is we'll do a paragraph. And you can you can do whatever you want with this. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to do this is the home page. Copy this over. This is the about page. This is the contact page. All right. So now um, let's uh, just run this, and now we should see a bunch of different things. This is the home page. This is the about page. This is the contact page. So now switching it isn't going to do anything, obviously. But we're going to make it do something. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to do uh, after each ID, type uh, space visible equals false. Um, I'm just going to copy this over and over, or copy and then paste it into each div. Um, so after the about one, you want to do the same thing and the contact one. Um, now, if we run it, mm, whoops, wrong thing. Uh, if we run it, uh, okie dokie. What the heck did I type wrong? One second. Let's check. Uh, let's check this. Okay, let's check. Uh, sorry, I I forget. I think it's visible. Am I wrong? One second, guys. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's not visible. It's hidden. I, I mix them up. Sorry about that. Um, I'm thinking Java. There's, yeah. Um, all right. So now they shouldn't show up. My bad. Now there's nothing there. Um, but uh, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do go to the YouTube website dot dart. Now we're gonna do if message equals equals home. So if the tab is equal to home, then we're gonna do query. Uh, this is home, so we're getting the home uh, div, and we're doing uh, hidden equals. Oh wait, hidden equals false. Wait, true. Sorry about that. Hidden equals true. Um, now, if we run it, one second. God, this thing just does not like me today, honestly. It's kind of annoying me right now. <sighs> Alright, what the heck is going on? Oh, oh man. Alright, I know what I did wrong. It was false. Alright, um... So that's why that wasn't working. Um, all right. Um, this should actually be true. These should all be true. Uh, I'm just not thinking straight today. Um, all right. So now, if we run it, none of them should show up except for the home page. So now it's showing the home page. If you click on about, nothing's going to show up, and it's not going to change. Um, I'll explain why in a second. So to fix so that it does change, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to YouTube website dart. And we're going to go to, uh, before it, we're going to make everything uh, set to, um, or the visibility set to false. So home 
dot hidden equals uh, true query about dot hidden equals true and then query um, contact dot hidden equals true. All right, now um, oops. So now it should make it not show up. Oh crap! Always pressing Chrome instead of that. All right. Oh man, what happened this time? I spelled something wrong. Um, home. Oh, that's why. Contact. I didn't have the pound in front of it. All right. So now when we click on about, it's going to disappear. Um. So now it's kind of simple from there. All that we have to do. Click on Dreamweaver that time. All we have to do is we have to do else if message equals equals about the capital A. Um, else if message equals equals uh, contact. And then we're just going to do query about with the pound um, dot hidden equals false. And then query contact dot hidden equals false. Come on. There we go. Alright, so now it should all work correctly if we did this right this time. Alright, there we go. So the home about contact. Um, sorry about all the uh, you know pauses and trying to fix errors. I'm just really out of it. I haven't worked with Dart for a few days because I've been really busy. I went to visit a college um, from Sunday to Monday, or Sunday to Tuesday, and then I had uh, work yesterday. But, um, yeah, so that's the first tutorial, guys. I mean, you can always spice this up like I did. Um, like my website, which is right here. Like I added a bunch of div tags. I actually changed around the uh, CSS and the view thing. So if you want to change like the colors like I did to a different color, just go to the resources and edit this uh, view.css file. Um, you can kind of figure it out uh, from there. But um, that's kind of it. And you can add in more things like that. Uh, actually added... I actually made a completely new website, uh, but I'll sh I might show that in a different video. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be making the next video probably right after this. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. See you later, guys.